We think that's okay. It doesn't need to be too dark, otherwise we don't see shit anymore. Um, we go to video. FSR. Oh, Fidelity Super Resolution. Why can't we change the... We change to full screen real quick. Oh, oops. Can we now change the... Why can't we do that? Why is 2050... Huh? Why is that the maximum we can choose? That is weird. And that it jumps back all the time is also extremely annoying. Quality with DLSS. change the screen resolution at uh, the why can't we set it to 4k like sometimes it has to do with is it because of windowed except is it because of windowed it's because of windowed Does it, does it set it back if we do full screen? Huh? Why was... What? Huh? That is so stupid. Um, na on a native... Uh, DLAA works on a native resolution image to maximize image quality. We have a beefy piece. Oh. So now we have 4K, which is what we like. Difficulty standard. Then. is a bit too loud. You mean the music? Is 20% less better? Is that good? Or more? We found the music pleasant, but if it is too loud... Um... Oh, we take modern. It's- it's- we don't know what to expect with Alone in the Dark, so it's... If- if we want an old-school experience, we can do it for a second playthrough, so... It's fine. When we know the game and... Oh, thank you. I think we will think we'll do. We don't know what to expect, but it looked really interesting. It 
It's nice that they waited and didn't just like drive over that. Alligator is it right? In the US they have so alligators. Local. Australia is crocodiles, right? He's possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him. Watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to get him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Harnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Here we are. My uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we going to do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. Whoa. We like the dialogue so far. Oh, we can choose a character. Oh, that is cool. We can choose Edward Carnby. Uh, voiced by David Harbour. People know... The, people know names of actors we never know. It's like don't ask us. Uh, have, oh, you have you you have seen the the person and uh, if it if the person was not in Supernatural, then uh, then then we probably don't know the name. No. <laughs> so no. <coughs> and we can choose Emily Hartwood, voiced by Jodie Coma. Uh, we play a woman. Like, he's- he's cool, too. Like, both are cool, but if we can play women, we play women. That is cool that you can choose who you play. That's really cool. Hello? It's so quiet. Where is everyone? There's a big place. Maybe they're on the other side of the house. Stay here. I'll have a look. Chapter one. Okay, so we already have a gun. That is interesting. Look for a way inside the house. Microphone is like falling down for some reason. Um, game, big game trifles. Uh, rifles, sorry. 
Stone's ginger. If we have to burp, we just had like a tzatziki with rice and... How is it pronounced in English? We say gyros. The the Greek meat thing. It's it's like mm, the 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 meat we don't make up uh, like meat quote unquote we don't make ourselves but um because it's it's just like the the pre made stuff is already perfectly seasoned with onions and everything so why should we you know? ah here we gonna what's this light. A flashlight. Clue. Kitchen garden key. Key item. Cool. Mm. Cool. Hopefully the game is not uh, too difficult for us, but we don't think so. Already looks like really interesting, and we want to we want to take it slow and look at everything, you know. For first playthrough, you want to see everything. Oh, we can open this. Ah, we got some pistol bullets. Nice. Is that a cat? It looked like a cat in there. Well, I don't think I'll be able to get in there. And we cannot shoot it open, right? Well, I don't think I'll be able to get in there. So, if we don't have the right key, the game tells us, apparently. It looks like that. And the game is like, oh no, you don't have the right key for this. Wait a second. Um, how do we open our inventory? This, okay. Surprise. Surprised by her own reckless decision, Emily found herself breaking into DeSetto. She mulled over how to present her story in case she got caught, but couldn't think of anything that sounded convincing. She wasn't much of a fast talker. Best to find a way to open the front door and let Detective Conby inside so he can handle the situation. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Um, so thank you for the follow. Um, the key doesn't appear. Ah, something is here. Hmm. Okay, and we can pull it up, probably. Could we do it? That would be interesting to know. Like, an idea was, like, here we could use the water here. To like make the make the bucket float. Probably we're not supposed to do it yet. But we keep it in mind. Since it looks like something we want to um 
pick up for some puzzle. Oh god. <laughs> I need the key. We picked up a key, but it was not that key. There's something on the table. It's just playing cards, a lighter, and an ashtray. I do we love such greenhouses with those trees here? Like, the American South has such an interesting uh, vegetation. Like, here everything is just, like, boring as normal German trees, and then you have grass. Like, uh... Those burning leaves, don't know, that hurt if you touch them. And, like, some, some thorny stuff, so... It's, it's very boring. go in there either if we yawn from time to time it's uh, we took a sleeping pill last night had a good night of sleep but it's it has its side effects so we will still be a bit um, sleepy but we wanted to play this since we didn't get to play it yesterday Uh, well, sorry, um... And we try to open the door for him? Like, where's- where's the- where did the key go that we picked up earlier? About John Marcus, 1918. Did we not pick up the key in the barn? We, we have a weird feeling that we clicked on the key, but that the game wants you to press like a certain button to even pick it up. That we... Um... Like, you would think that w when you click something that you also... Whatever button you press, you will... You... No. We picked up the key. Okay, so... It's it's not that, thankfully. <laughs> Could happen, you know? We probably used it on this door, right? So, we got in here with that. Still can't open that. Can't open that either. We will see, like... She didn't say something that triggers anything? That's weird. Hmm. We don't know where the key is that we need. Or what we have to do. <sighs> ah, here's something we can interact with. Ah, okay, okay, never mind. We got the key. Housekeeper's key. Wait a second, is that the same key for... for Those houses here are so cool. Well, I don't think I'll be able to get in there. The housekeeper's key is not what we need. Damn. 
That's sad. Um, did we try this door already? Ah, so this lock, it fits. It fits this... Uh, English, whatever, it's... Welcome to their Seto. Their Seto is a nice Seto. Uh. <laughs> like there is one of the German articles, the male one. I'll just take. So this. it sounds like the Seto, you know. <laughs> see everything a bit family bible every day your silence weighs a little heavier it's been a difficult year for everyone and many have lost all hope i read in the papers about people suffering pictures of dust covered landscapes without a drop of water i wish i knew if you were still tending the earth or if you had turned your back against us i have started to look for help elsewhere i pray you will tell me if i'm going down a path that you find disagreeable with help from batiste and charlotte i found comfort in the practice of the voodoo i have long been skeptical of that caribbean cult but it's been of good use to me it seems all harmless in my book I see some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of Grigri. Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French quarter priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around that the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred sand, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings, a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, you must have misheard me, madame. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Mm, do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madam. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns.
Please do not touch the boiler. It is working, after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up, and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. That doesn't look safe. I need the key. Sunday, June 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, 
but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. Uh, we forgot to unmute us and... <laughs> it happens. Didn't talk too much. We were just looking around. Said something about the magnum opus that we... Or like opus of, about the magazine. Locked medicine box. There's set of floor plans. Okay, that's good. We're orderly. Drawing room. Library. Yeah. WC is also something that you see quite often in Germany. Even though we have like a Germanization, Germanized word for toilet um but um that is that comes up pretty often yeah too um doctor's office for which we uh, sorry. don't have the keys yet oh piazza key Mm, what's this? Uh, piazza. That's very likely not the key. Okay, <laughs> just trying because it, if 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 it would if map is updated with information about the world including locked doors and unsolved puzzles yeah we did that just now ah now we can use that door okay were we in here before we were right yeah we we'll check this path out. what does it say marvelous science Books are obsolete. Yeah, yeah. We don't, yeah, the library probably has a different key. Pretty sure. I need the key. The doors behave weird in this game. Okay, good. <laughs> like in Resident Evil, you push the doors and usually they open like as if you just push some some feathers around. It's like really easy. Whoa. They fly away, but here like the doors push you back, which is interesting. I need the key. Sorry. Uh... Ah, this is the room that we had in the prologue where there was like, um, where there was like, uh, like water here and, and plants and the monsters and we played Grace who then, it seemed like she got attacked by one of those creatures. Maybe it was an illusion, maybe it was something else we don't know. Or maybe she's actually... The Great Depression. President Hoover raises tariffs on over 20,000 imported goods in an act to protect American labor. Following the collapse of the Wall Street stock market on October 24 last year, American industry has suffered greatly. 
thousands of companies have gone bankrupt and left a large part of the American workforce unemployed. In an attempt to turn the tide, the Smoot-Hawley Tariff Act has been signed by President Herbert Hoover. By regulating commerce with foreign countries, the government hopes to encourage the industries of the United States to compete with cheap foreign imports. Superstition on Rise New Orleans voodoo stores and spiritual mediums see increased profit during troubled times. While the market has faced hard times ever since Black Thursday of last year, voodoo doctors and snake charmers see significant rise in number of customers. With the coming eve of St. John on the 23rd, the police expect increased cult activity around Bayou St. John, the southern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. Voodoo rituals in that area on the eve of St. John have a long tradition reaching back to the first snake worshippers brought as slaves from West Africa. During the 19th century, its practice was popularized by the legendary Marie Laveau and has since been embraced by many of the Creoles and the surviving aristocracy of the French Quarter. Author Seeks Asylum Rumors regarding author Cassandra Beauregard making Dorsetto her home verified. Dorsetto Hospital is an old plantation building on the eastern shores of Lake Pontchartrain. While often considered an asylum for the insane, residing Dr. Elmore Lee Gray prefers to think of it as a convalescent home, a place where you can go to rest. The patient list is kept secret, but thought to include many of the black sheep of wealthy families, because at Dorsetto, treatment does not come for free. Local author Cassandra Beauregard has now been confirmed by her own admission. She's been lauded as a powerful Creole voice and written many successful books. Lately it was reported from Hollywood that she has finished a moving picture manuscript titled Slaughter Gulch. That film is set to hit the theaters next year. Interesting way to read this. Okay. Um, we are not muted this time. We checked twice. <laughs> it happens. It happens. No, we wanted to. Ah, this is one of the collectibles. I need the key. She could crawl through this too. It's not only that the girl could like. She's she's not the tallest person and she's also not like the has the like she's not hulk so she could she could definitely crawl uh, through there oh god there are so many rooms you can check way too much to check Rich people and their naked statues. It's kind of weird. We have over 130 frames most of the time, apparently. But around 130. Oh, sorry. Um. So that's cool. Um, sorry, what did we set the DLAA or DLSS on? Display... I can't... Oh, we can... Oh, we can activate HDR. Hello? It reduces the frames to like 112 now. 106 most of the time. But it should look better. Wait. We, we get used to activating HDR in the future. Excuse me? Do you know where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? Of course not. McCarthy, what are you doing? I told you not to lose sight of the girl. Don't you worry, Mags. I'll find that little rascal. Who are you people? What are you doing here? I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. His name is Jeremy Hartwood. What are you doing, child? You shouldn't be alone. Go find McCarthy. Who are you? Are you here for the Fay Dodo? 
go upstairs now. Urgh. My name is Emily Hartwood. I, I, I'm the niece of Jeremy Hartwood. This is Detective Carnby. The police? Why are you here? No, I'm a private investigator. Sorry to bother you. My client's worried about her uncle. He's a patient here at Dressetto. If you don't mind, could you direct us where to find him? No, I can't. Jeremy has gone missing. If you leave your information, I will make sure to contact you. Wait, he ran away? No, he won't leave the house. He's around here somewhere, and both of our orderlies are looking for him. That's unacceptable. Where's Dr. Gray? I want to speak with him immediately. Fine, I'll ask him. Wait here and don't touch anything. Do you want to see Jeremy's room? Can you show us? Follow me. Thank you. Strange kid. Mm. Let's look around, see what we can find. Okay, okay. Um, that was Grace from the prologue. If you haven't seen it, it's on our YouTube channel. Same name, just without the underscore between uh and um <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> yeah and it's really cool to see <clears throat> you play as grace and you see this house a bit what kind of stuff are we looking for I've never been part of an investigation before. Letters, diaries, receipts, all sorts of notes. A locked steamer trunk. The commonplace book. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity, staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawea. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Signora Perosi? Back from the beyond? Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Seems conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, Signora. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulchre where you may rest, and I shall weep. It's so cool that they voice the, the text here in this game. Often like we have to read so much that we that our throat constantly runs dry. Hey, good day to you, Sib. How are you doing? Hope you're well. Lovely to see you as always. And you missed a very British character yesterday in yesterday's stream. We are in Tekken, we are fans of uh, Dragonov, Dragonov is Russian, has a very cool fighting style that they teach where we move to. 
haha, <laughs> so we might try it out. Um, and uh, also Steve Fox, and Steve Fox is so British. <laughs> it was super funny yesterday. Whenever someone breaks his throws, he's like, what? <laughs> so good. What, mate? So good. Um... You just woke up. Hope you had a good sleep then. Have you ever seen anything like this? Looks like a talisman. You mean like this one? Can you find me a knife to cut the canvas? I want to take this with me. You want to take the painting? Sure, I'll find one. Take it. Thank you. Ah, we have such here, a tube right? as well. I'm not sure. Like like that with with. I don't know how to do any of this. With a band to There's carry it. Talk to Doctor Gray. He must know something about what's going on around here. Okay. Let's do that. But it's not for art. It's for a big two-player Yu-Gi-Oh mat that we use to Come carry on, around the city, go to places, place it there because people often just didn't have any mat. For reasons, I don't know. Did um, you Carnby? W where did? So we provided a two-player match to play with other people. Now we don't have anyone to play with here anymore. Like the last person we had, um, thanks to Corona. I don't know what happened to them, but like they... Oh. Interesting. found some pistol bullets we pick up all the pistol bullets because we probably will need to shoot sorry stomach it's just we drink coffee and we had some like tzatziki with rice and gyros is that how it's pronounced in english right we don't have the key we could not open this now So this is something we can't read. It's in German. We can't read it. Ah, that that was from a German parody, where they read something in uh, speaking German, and they were like, "It's in German. I can't read it." <laughs> if you can speak German, you can read German. You should be like at least ninety-nine percent can. What? Oh God! Ah! No! Open the door! Are you... Yeah. What the fuck? Why is that... <sighs> oh. 
Holy guacamole. <laughs> that was sudden. Uh, yeah, sorry, because... Hello? Hello? Why are you tanking so much? Hello? We are cornered! Can you please go fucking... The fuck is this shit? Why are they tanking so much? Like, sir! What, whatever you are! Why are you tanking so many bullets? Hey, like, what the fuck? Sure, corner us and yo. <sighs> oh, doors in this game. You already hated how they work. We don't shoot five times next to an enemy. If that happens, load. That's not something that happens. Just because every enemy... Like, since since modern games decided enemies have to stumble... Do you see, do you see her stumble? No. But every enemy you have, like, stumble, 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 dance around. Like the stupid lichens in Village. We hate them so much. We shot it. We shot its head. We what? That one time we shot its head. And the game was like, nah, you didn't. You absolutely didn't. You think you shot its head? Mmm. Think again. Sorry. <coughs> Throat is constantly. <coughs> <coughs> oh, Christ in heaven. <gasps> Holy guacamole. And you get one bullet out of it. 13 bullets it takes to kill that thing. And you get one out of it. Okay. Like, okay. Ow. Yeah. Move! Fucking <laughs> Move! Yeah, because she does me. Now you're fucking. Now you remembered what fucking moving is again. Woman! The fuck is wrong with you? She was stuck at that corner. We moved the stick in every direction, like circled around and tried to. Get her to turn around to get, unstuck her from that corner, and she was like, Uh, uh, can't stuck at corner. Move your ass. What the fuck? <gasps> like, bitch, can you move, please? God. Holy hell! What the hell was that thing? Uh. Are you fucking kidding? Stop! Oh. Stop stumbling! Please, we fucking hate it. If enemies stumble around, stop stumbling! Please, move normal! Try to move normal. Please. Oh, it, we, we did count the bullets wrong, but whatever. Please move normal. 
At that point, you can fucking teleport around like that Indian professor of Pakistan. We don't know. Like, it, it, we, we should look it up so we don't say some. What the hell was that thing? Really? Uh, could you just die, please? Look how many bullets you cost us! And you didn't give us anything! God, you get one bullet! Of course, sure! Give the player two enemies at once! No introduction, no tutorial, nothing! Give the player two enemies and expect them to fight them! Of course, yeah! And then let them tank like hell! And make them stumble so that they're hard to hit even! Of course, we're playing on normal where that shit has to be! Dear developers, what the fuck is wrong with you? That is that is your introduction to the game. Aha. Uh -huh. I can't go that way. Yeah. We will kick your ass that way in five seconds. Like we want to have fun with a new game. Not already get Oh, why do modern games have to piss people off so much? We have played older games who were less pissing us off. Way, way less than this. Older games. Old games. Not like five years ago. Older. This can't be. And they piss us off less. Every modern game has to have like some zombie type like enemy that stumbles like they're drunk as fuck. And then they tank headshots. Then they tank headshots. And and what do you get out of them? Here you have one bullet. And we spent Half of our bullets. We had 24, now we have 12. Half of our bullets. And you get one for that. The game's like, nah. I can't go so your way. reward is, um... Yeah, a kick in the face. Is that enough? Are you happy? N no. Oh, you're not happy? Sorry, but like... We expected a, a bit softer introduction to the game. Like, a, at least a bit? And, and then not like some... That stupid modern drunk zombie type. God. Ask any Resident Evil player. They hate the lichens. They hate the lichens. Looking for my uncle Jeremy? Jeremy's your uncle. I didn't know. Why would you? You're still working at Dorsetto? Yeah, both me and Lada stuck around. We're real orderless now. Y you remember my sister Lada, don't you? What happened, Batiste? How are we here? Do you know about the dark man haunting your uncle? I'm familiar with his mental state. I think we all in his head somehow. Because these streets are real, but they're not like on any map. Nah, this is like when you remember something, but in the wrong way. Do you know how to get back to Dorsetto? I'm not safe here. Truer words have yet been spoken, Mrs. Marcus. 
Don't call me that. It's Miss Emily Hartwood. There's no reason to call me anything else. I'm sorry, Miss Emily. I'm just trying to tell you like it is. This place ain't safe for no one. There's evil hiding in the dark. How do I get back? Only Jeremy knows how. He has this juju necklace guiding him. You mean this talisman? Mm-hmm. Just like it. He says it's been protecting him. Ever since he got it from Miss Jackson down the street. You know where it came from? Have you been there? I was there no more than one hour ago looking for Jeremy. I locked it up to keep the ghouls from getting inside. You can have the key if you want. Thank you. I'll take a look. Stay safe, miss. Batiste's keys. <clears throat> there are three keys on the chain. One that opens up to Miss Jackson's place in the French Quarter. Then there are two belonging to Der Seto. One for the clerk's office and one for the libraries. Okay. Preserved reptile. I, it, we didn't understand it. Like, <clears throat> we just started a new game and we try to have fun, and then the game throws two enemies at you, and, and the first time they attacked even at the same time. So that was fun. Um, because we thought we could move closer to the enemy wrong um and uh, we hate that type of enemy so damn much they have no special abilities they just move fast move weird and they tank like hell it, we hate that so much about modern games that every enemy has to now tank shots all the time why though Please. The reason why we like the Sniper Elite series, it, it, it is a list of things. It is a list of things. And one of the reasons why sniping is so much fun is because if you shoot someone in the head, spoiler alert, they die. So it, it's, re it's fascinating, right? You shoot one of those Nazis in the head and they die. They don't tank like half a magazine and they're still standing or something. No, like bullet in the head and like they're dead. They even die from like some ball shot. It's <laughs> so that's that's funny, but like. Let me check something on my tablet. <clears throat> but no, it has a system update. Okay. Are you staying here? For a while. I want to see if Jeremy shows up. Aww. Hope the system updates go quick. Like, we don't dislike anything else about the game, but, like, that type of enemy is just... It, it's such a modern standard. We hate it so much. Since when were developers like, oh yeah, an enemy that is fast moves uh, in a like a swaying way that is uh, hard uh, then to hit that enemy, and then all, all, all on top of it they tank. So at least as a compensation, those enemies should not tank shots. They should die from a headshot. At least that, so that you uh, aim, yeah, you aim, you wait, and then as soon as you have the head, bam. But no, they thought like it has to be as un un unfun as much as possible. The lichens too, we, d we don't understand it. What is so attractive for developers, what, why they think that has to be. Like, 
some, some would some might say but yeah there are players with skills and they want to play something yeah but then give them some like difficulties specially made for that or if your game is not intended for that if it's not that type of game why is there no door we can go through That's so weird then um then tell them hey this is not that type of game play something else if you want that and not every game has to be like that if someone wants something really hard then they need to play a game that is made for that and not every game has to meet that modern bullshit criteria like that is okay as a standard uh, as a as a type of game but like Ooh, what's this? Ah. Oh, oh, ah! No, you were supposed to switch weapons! Oh. Ah, that's how it works. Okay, and that th that they tell you after, like, you shot uh, three bullets. So what we thought just now was... We pick up that pipe. Now the pipe is equipped, and the game wants us to use it, probably. But, uh, no... Pressing RT is still the gun. So we wasted bullets now. Cool, huh? Game could have told us that... Like, please? So, what the game could do... You have a gate here. And you close the door behind you. You go in here. You find a pipe. Then you get a cutscene, enemy breaks through here, and then you get a tutorial, uh, which buttons are for the pipe, now we know. And, um... That's it, right? So, in in instead the game just lets us panic fire to defend ourselves, and then find out, oh yeah, the game uh, wants to tell you um, this uh, those buttons you can use to, uh, to attack an enemy. Hmm. Okay, and you could not have told us that like five seconds earlier or so? Hmm? It, it was necessary to do that when, when the enemy is already um, mas uh, like extreme massaging our face. Use the pi pipe is unequipable. No, that's that's not what we meant to do. How how can how can we we got the pipe but we can't equip it? Huh? We can't equip the pipe. We're sorry, but like, how how does it? Did we not equip the pipe? Apparently not. Because if we press RT, we will just hit fire. Um, why why is the pipe gone? Did the pipe break when we used it on that zombie there? Like, why can't we? Yeah, but, but we want to use the pipe. Is the pipe gone? Why? No, no, not not using healing items. We just press every button to see if any of them does what we want it to do? Huh? We don't get this game and we don't like this game. We might refund it even. What the fuck? The game is like, you are getting attacked by an enemy. You already took five punches. Now, uh, a tutorial appears that doesn't pause the game. Um, which is supposed to tell you something that we could tell you before the enemy attacks. Ah. Cool. Thumbs up. Amazing. And that's supposed to be fun. Why? So, we get the pipe. Now what's this? 
We didn't see it that quick because we were. Ah! The pipe breaks. Of course, the pipe breaks because you can't give the player something that they can use when the when the gun is empty. Of course not. Of course not. W would help. Of course not. Is there any door that we want to go into? Nope, that is just something we can throw. Can you please activate your... Oh, that thing follows us in here. Okay, 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 you follow us all the way in here. Okay, that is fantastic. That is great. This this game already... Ah, please, yeah, cool, body block. Uh, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. We went into a corner, and what do games do then? They kill you. Wow. Um, we should have selected easy mode, and... Look if that is at least like controller. Controller turned itself up. Thank you. It's connected via cable. And it has a battery, but it just refuses to do what it's supposed to do. Okay, so you need to go in here, die, and then you can like look around here without getting attacked. Funny game concept. We already like this game so, so much. Yeah, you can throw something in the enemy's face. Yeah, and th that helps so much. Go. Yeah, can you move? Why does she get hit twice before the sh before she? Why does she always get... Woman! You get hit twice before you start fucking moving. Can you please explain to us why it, after every hit it takes you five seconds to start... And we and are not exaggerating right now. You saw it. It takes her so long to start moving again. She gets hit and then she stands there like... Uh, one, two, three, four. Like, uh, it's, it's that slow. Five. She gets hit twice, and then she, like, slowly gets into movement again. Woman! Move! The question, if you can move, is answered by, do you want to live? Then you can move. Yes. If not, then just stand there and wait until they have. But we would suggest, because getting beaten to death is painful, just shoot yourself in the head. It's, it's faster. Recommend that over getting beaten to death. Oh, we hate this game already. Oh, fucking hell. Can we crouch? Is, is crouching a feature? Crouching is not a feature. Why is crouching? Ah! Oh god. Start moving! Woman, we know your five seconds rule, but fuck that rule right now. There is a second one. 
Of course, yeah, we were fun this game so hard. Oh god, this like maybe the th the theme is cool and maybe the story. But what were the old alone in the dark games that ass? Not to insult any fan again because you... it looks exactly like Jeremy's talisman. And like, w were they that ass? Don't think so, right? From what we've seen, it looked quite different. Talisman, an old talisman shaped over centuries. The engraving of the numbers looks to be less than a hundred years old, but the base could be from antiquity. The polished black sunstone in the middle has a glass finish and occasionally gives the impression of hiding a picture within itself. I think it's meant to hold the talisman. What? I'm not sure what numbers I should use. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Ah, yeah, we will have a look around. This game is already so much fun. Oh, hell yeah. Way too little ammo. Extremely annoying enemies. Oh, yeah. Um, you're not supposed to fight them, actually. You're supposed to throw something in their faces, but they are fast and they move like someone who... They move like Flash when he's drunk. Um, yeah, you know, um, that's, that's, that's cool. Uh, that's a feature and, and fun. Mm, okay, yeah. Mm. So, do the developers rub Tabasco on their asshole and are like, mm, ah, mm, mm, ah, ah. If so, then, um... good for you but like please don't expect that everyone else likes that too that that would be quite nice if you could like imagine that thought like try for a second that maybe not everyone wants wants this no because like the the, the graphics look cool the story seems interesting the, the setting is... Like, everything is interesting. Yeah, but how... What is Jeremy's notes? Do we have something that's called Jeremy's? Emily found this waking dream disturbingly persuasive. If this was Jeremy's world, what did that mean? Was the Hartwood family suffering a literal curse? Was the dark man, that ghoulish spectre haunting Jeremy, an actual supernatural being? Emily pushed her thoughts aside and focused. She needed to find out about the talisman and get back to Desetto. You have the, the plant zombies in Resident Evil 2 Remake, and they are not even half as annoying as the enemies here. And it's Resident Evil. A not very unliked series. It's like super popular. And they have zombies that are. They stumble too, but like the plant zombies are the least annoying for some reason. Because you just flame them. With Claire, you probably just like shoot them some acid rounds in the face or so. Have to see. We don't know what to do here. Like, where do we get Jeremy's notes? Ah, Jeremy's warning? Convent Signora Perosi of Taroea? The Dark Man? Dearest Emily, Deseto is the prey of evil, and now they're all in on it. The staff and all the patients are nothing more than a mindless cult set to awaken the bayou. I see now that it was wrong of me to try to survive the madness of the Dark Man. You will also learn that soon enough. Every hour that passes where I deny him his right to my sanity, 
Makes it worse for the people I care about. He perfectly staged his world in order to conduct my fall. And I have to fall, Emily. Stay away, my dearest niece. Stay as far away from Deceto as you can. Someday you may understand what I've done. May God forgive me. Farewell. Oh, sorry. Oops. We just grabbed the controller again and hit B. Batiste's keys. Ah, we have more pages than that. How did you first come to understand such things, Signora? How did you know that the battered boil in the basement would lead me to Lafayette Cemetery? Or how the old upstairs clock with its astronomical motifs would take me to that hateful mound outside of Claremont Harbor? Those are my memories, my past. Is there perhaps a chance, if ever so small, for me to see Tarawaya? Oh, I want that more than anything. Please, let my talisman take me there. Let me sit with Juan under his Bodhi tree. Despite having sold me that talisman, Miss Jackson, the voodoo priestess, revealed none of her secrets to me. That's why I had to travel to Tonka. Instead, she cruelly told Baptiste, my caretaker, that he would be betrayed and killed in the most awful way, that the one he loved would pierce his thigh with a sharp spear, and that he would be devoured by his own mother. What a terrible thing to say. The people of Deceto were becoming dangerous. They do not understand what they are doing. I must do something to stop them. I tried talking to Dr. Gray, but he confuses my worries. He's caught up in treating me. How can he expect evil to be cured with medicine and conversation? The orderlies, the housekeeper, and the patients are all deranged. They will call upon evil to enter this world. All oh, will be lost. Everything. Unless I can find the clerk, Mr. Waite. He seems to be a clear-thinking man. Maybe Beauregard. The dark man offered me a prison, and I accepted. I signed that miscarried contract and entered the dark pact. Everyone is safe, except for me. Ah. Your back had to go check on someone, yeah. Okay, so it has to be set on three, five, eight. Okay. How can we switch the disc? Ah, okay. Three. Five is not a thing. That is, oh uh, god, uh, ah. Uh. Ah, no. Ah, okay. Huh? That is, that is a weird thing. 
We, we try to do it as we see it and not with the numbers on the right side, but apparently it looks... That's how the book says, says, right? Oh no, we did it wrong in the wrong order. Oops. No. Sorry. <laughs> What's that picture in the glass? Where is that? to see you again, Miss Hartwood. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. She also alerted me that you brought a detective with you. I'm very curious to hear what this is all about. You don't remember me, do you, Miss Hartwood? We met at your family's house in the Garden District when your uncle was about to be admitted under my care. No, I remember. Sorry. I'm not really feeling well. Oh. In that case, have a seat. Let me make you a drink. Hope that someone is well, Seb. I don't seem to have made much of an impression on you. On the other hand, I can vividly recall you and your parents. Because of our cheerful disposition, I'm sure. You are far too intelligent to think that. You come from a joyless family, Miss Hartwood. The only amusement I took from my visit was discovering that the young lady's drink was an old-fashioned. Very astute. Is that supposed to make you seem attentive or intelligent? Whatever you prefer. Are you ready to tell me why you are here, Miss Hartwood? And why you brought a detective? I received a letter from my uncle. He seemed certain that he was in danger here. If I find out you're treating him badly, I'll be taking him back with me to New Orleans. Really? Is he going to live with you in your tiny garçonniere? That would be a spectacular way to ratify your spinsterhood. Because you are well aware that your father would never let him back in his house. No, I have it. Maybe you can bring him back up north. You've been wanting to move back for quite a few years, haven't you? You always preferred your mother's side of the family. Jeremy is free to leave with you. I won't object. However, there is one problem, as you might have learned. He is, in fact, missing. Do you know where he could have gone? No, I'm afraid I don't. I have my staff looking for him. I'm sure he will show up eventually. Especially if he learns that you are here. He is quite fond of you. What can you tell me about his condition? I never heard a proper diagnosis. What is your medical opinion of him? Well, let me think. He is an anxious man, depressed even. He suffers from a perceived lack of order in his inner and outer life. He constantly complains about events not presenting themselves according to their divine nature. In the dark man? Hard to tell if it was ever anything specific. Jeremy uses the Dark Man as a psychological scapegoat to avoid facing the truth that he is in any way at fault. You don't think there can be any truth to the Dark Man's supernatural existence? Why would you ask that? I... Can we ever be sure? If the Dark Man is some sort of evil presence that is in possession of Jeremy? Well... I assure you, any evidence that you experience supporting that claim is purely delusional. Don't get caught up in mass hysteria, Miss Hartwood. You wouldn't want to take your uncle's place in this hospital, would you? Uh, I'll be leaving now, Doctor. I need to keep looking for my uncle. Do so, Miss Hartwood. I'll let you know if he shows up. God, what a slimy pisser. Ah, uh, what a slimy pisser. Ah, uh, don't like him. We do not like him. Detective Carnby! God, I'm... I'm glad to see you. I was afraid you had left. Me? You're the one who just disappeared. It's... 
hard to explain. I think I blacked out. I, it was like I went somewhere else. It's okay, miss. You're clearly upset. No, it's... I don't know what's happening. I, this is a very stressful situation for you, I understand. Ugh, no, you don't understand. Just take a deep breath. Why don't you sit down, smoke some of the Perique. If you want, I could even drive you back to New Orleans. I just want to have a talk with Dr. Gray first. I want to stay. I found a talisman just like the one in the painting. I think I might be able to figure out where Tarawea is, where Jeremy wanted to go. That's great. Just stay out of trouble, okay? Let me handle the investigation. I'm not crazy, Detective. Not yet. <laughs> okay, catch you later. Is that word we, we, we want to look up? Like, we know that in French, uh, boy means garçon. So, garçonnier, uh, if a talisman uh, like this can open up is, doors uh, between the French Quarter and Dorsetto, then maybe Jeremy is hiding in some strange other world, like Tarawea, the place he mentioned in the book. No matter where he is, it's clear that my search won't be limited to Dorsetto. Ah, now we can go in here. I need the key. That door we still can't open. Repairing the boiler. I saw you notice in the boiler room. You should know Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, but you can take a valve from the wine cellar if you want to try to stop the steam pouring out. Be careful. So, like, we think we know what happened in the earlier parts. The game expects you to not fight the enemies and just run away from them. Throw something in their face, or like the first enemies you just run away from, then you get shown that you can throw something in their face, you run further, look for the, just the next exit, go further, 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 trigger the cutscene and you're free again. So the game expects you to know that you are just supposed to run Cable, please. Um, and like that, you just run around instead of fighting. Paul, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. They have been sabotaged, and I think I know who did it. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear at night. Right now, it's important that you keep an eye out for any of the pieces. I want to find out if I can repair the plates. Let me know if you find any of them. Lottie. Tell Lottie to take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. We have seen one of the pieces there, but we couldn't do anything at the time. Maybe we, we can do it now or so. Dr. Elmore Lee Gray is DeSetto's chief doctor. Accounting and all administrative work is handled by me, Paul Waits. Magdalena Thompson, or Mags, is responsible for the household. Jean-Baptiste and Charlotte Tabois are responsible for keeping the guests' medical regiments in check. Finally, Jack Chance is our gardener, who can occasionally be seen in the conservatory, but is, for the most part, busy outside. There are currently six guests at Dossetto. Malcolm McCarthy and Ruth Talant reside on the first floor. Jeremy Hartwood, Elisabetta Perosi, Grace Saunders, and of course, Cassandra Beauregard live on the second floor. Ah, okay. Room number six. Key. Okay, those pages we have to look through for ourselves. Oh, no, we don't. Cassandra Beauregard, oh. the beloved author. Very exciting, isn't it? What do you want to put down for a reason for admission? 
What her agent told us. Cassandra suffers from writer's block and needs to finish her moving picture script before the end of June. Mr. Chardot suggests Cassandra's heavy use of barbiturates is holding her back and risks ruining her career. And how should we summarize her personal history? Let's keep it short. Cassandra Beauregard is a beloved crime author who managed to pull herself out of poverty and into stardom. Five years ago, she tried killing herself by jumping off a balcony. The incident left her a cripple and now relies heavily on her wheelchair. And for diagnostic impressions? Cassandra suffers chronic back pain following her suicide attempt. She self-administers morphine to keep herself ambulant, but has become addicted and the desired effect is now lost. The drug abuse clouds her mind and she is unable to focus on real life. To save herself from this insight, she instead makes up stories to fill out the gaps in her own thought process, resembling the Korsakoff syndrome. Oh, bravo, doctor. How will you treat her? First of all, she needs to be weaned from her drug addiction, and hopefully it will resolve her compulsive lying. Then look into permanently numbing her pain in her back through surgery. Finally, deal with her suicidal thoughts. Fantastic. With such a short time before June, I really hope she gets better soon. We will do what we can. Okay, we used the time and we're listening with our wireless headset. Um, Interesting. It's all the patient files except for Jeremy's. Looks sturdy. Doubt I'll be opening this. Not without the combination, for sure. So we're supposed to play this game twice. Okay, now that we know that we often just have to run from the enemies. Like I need the key. That's where we came from earlier, right? Or were we in here and then yeah, that's where we got into the guy's office. Dis huh? Despite making a fool of herself in front of Dr. Gray and Detective Conby, Emily felt surprisingly invigorated. She felt absolutely sure that it was her manipulation of the talisman that had brought her back to Decetto. Jeremy mentioned two items in his commonplace book that somehow connected him to two more dreams, or whatever they should be called. If Jeremy had two more worlds open to him, then maybe he would hide there if he was scared. Or... Maybe he found a way to Tarawea, the place Jeremy so desperately wanted to visit. Excited to follow up on her clues, Emily set out to find the old clock and the boiler. Interesting. But now we want to, um... Now we can go to the library. I need the key. See, that's the bullshit we mean. Now the game is like, oh yeah, did you know you can sprint? Don't get us wrong, we we only criticize for games for stuff they they are not doing good. Like graphics are amazing, the story is interesting, the characters are good, the facial animations were good. It's everything is fitting except for like the stuff so far with the with the enemies for some dumb reason.
and Miss Hartwood. That is your name, isn't it? I would be terribly embarrassed if it wasn't. You're right. Emily Hartwood, Jeremy's niece. Nice to meet you. Ruth. Ruth Talon. Is that Perrique you're smoking? <laughs> How terribly quaint. Maybe so. But I like it. Would you care to share some? That smell is making me feel very nostalgic. Is it all that you hope for? I enjoy your light mockery, Miss Hartwood. I can tell we would make great friends. How flattering. Too bad you're locked up in this place. <laughs> your insincerity is really refreshing. I wish you were mad as I am. Then you could stay. Give it a few years and I might just be. Lunacy is one of my family's few privileges. <laughs> oh, good. I'll be looking forward to it. You don't know anything about what happened to Jeremy, do you? Everyone here is really strange, and it's hard to know what to make of anything you hear. Occasionally, it sounds quite exciting, though. Good versus evil and all that. I'm sorry, but I don't think I have anything useful to share. <sighs> it doesn't matter. Thank you for the much-needed break. Bon voyage. That much French we do speak. <laughs> yeah. Good journey, basically. Bon voyage. Uh, lost plantations of Louisiana. Louisiana has a vegetation that we would like to see with our own eyes. Just not, not in a photo or so. Lost plantations of Louisiana. Terry Bricklow, 1917. There settled was a small plantation on the eastern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. The land was considered difficult for industry and was sold for only $30 to Elia Pickford in 1818. Pickford employed hundreds of workers from nearby New Orleans to clear the woods and build a small plantation mansion facing the lake oh. with a striking Greek Revival temple facade. Tessetto kept a modest production of Perique tobacco and indigo that persisted up till the Civil War. During the antebellum era, Tessetto was the source of many rumors concerning voodoo and witchcraft. People who traveled the lake reported seeing people dance at night in front of bonfires bleating and wailing. On June 17, 1862, Captain J.W. Norton of the Union Army recounts leading a raiding party from ships anchored in Lake Pontchartrain in order to seize control of Desetto and free the slaves working there. The captain was surprised to find the workers fighting back with unprecedented zeal. Norton's account describes these men and women as enraged with fanaticism. Pickford reportedly tried to placate the raiders, but was shot in the confusion. Captain Norton left the mansion burning and retreated to his ships with his men. Their settle was left in ruins for several decades. The ownership of the land was long disputed and returned to the Ledoux family in 1901. Several police reports were filed during the following years as the Ledoux tried to get rid of a camp of squatters on their land. The police made several visits to remove the trespassers, but the people kept returning. On November 1st, 1907, Inspector Legras of the police charged a deadly attack in order to save several children kidnapped by the squatters. Many were killed, and even more were jailed. The following year, Ledoux rebuilt Desetto, incorporating the surviving stone foundation 
and adding a magnificent wrought iron conservatory. The farmland had been reclaimed by the surrounding woods, so it was no longer profitable to use as a plantation. Instead, the house was turned into an artist's colony. The Astarte Artist Colony was a successful group of artists, including figures such as painter Heinrich Cassel and poet Nora Keith. The group was also known for their beloved Mardi Gras crew called the Pirates of Pontchartrain. On September 29, 1915, a tropical hurricane tore through Louisiana, causing Lake Pontchartrain to flood New Orleans. Due to the remote location of their settle, it took almost two weeks for outsiders to learn that the artist's colony was abandoned. The twelve residing artists had all vanished without a trace. The empty mansion of their seto still stands on the shore of Lake Pontchartrain, with much of its temple facade intact. The Ledoux family currently has no intention of repairing the house. Uh, so we don't know really anything about it, but we know that Mardi Gras, uh, which is French for Fat Tuesday, uh, Gras is fat and Mardi is, uh, is Tuesday. Um, if we remember, or if it was a Thursday, fuck, at least I think it was Tuesday. Um, um, and, um. Fat Thursday? Ah, we're just learning French, so at least one of those days. And it's like some, uh, some festivity and like something in, in, uh, in that area, like in Louisiana. Okay, controller that. Okay, controller's back. Um... Controller? Could, could you stop, like, dying every three seconds right now? We're tr just trying to play a game. You can calm down, whatever it is. Hmm. Ah, here we can get a new weapon. Because she's like, hmm. <laughs> she, she, she's like us when we, when we see such a gun, like, hmm. Oh. Uh, okay. Bolt cutter, okay. Controller died, sorry. Can't move. Controller's back. Ah, okay, so we were... Oh, wow, oh, wow. Sudden pain. Ow. We were never supposed to even open those, even though it looks like it, but like... Okay. That was intended from the start that we... Why can we move? Everything's back to normal. Hey, much love to you, Sim. Of course. Hydrate. Yes. We have water prepared. Our coffee is already gone. You know. That is exactly where we wanted to go. Thank you, game. That is very, uh, we appreciate it. Like, if we wish we had such a big house. Not because we deserve it or, like, or whatever, but, like, fuck deserving. That is German culture. Don't use the word, the word deserve for anything. Just... Cut it out of your vocabulary. Believe us, if you live here, grow up here in Germany as, as being disabled, as being neurodivergent and unemployed and getting kicked in the face by society every day, you really hate the words deserve and earn, which is the same in German. So, really hate it. <laughs> Anyways, what what do we want to say? Um, we want uh, like we really love those big houses here. 
with it. Like, we would love to have such a garden here with the plants and such a tree here that that southern vegetation is so cool. Then we could sit here, read a book, like, have some coffee and just chill, you know? Like, have the plant smell and... Mmm, it would be so nice. Aww. Aww. <laughs> you wrote 30. Oh, we're going 30 next week, unfortunately. We're going 30. <laughs> we're going 30 next week. <laughs> Man, man, you're the What are you doing sneaking around? You almost scared me to death. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb your ritual. I wouldn't have guessed voodoo was in practice at a place like this. The doctor may be all about science, but I know these roots have power. Do you know what's going on here? I have a feeling Dorsetto is cursed. There are several players with stakes in this game. Dorsetto isn't cursed or blessed. It's a battleground. And it would all be a lot better if you could get your uncle out sooner than later. That's all I'm trying to do. I wish you the best of luck, Miss Harwood. I really mean that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to look after my gombo. We, we know, Sib, you're our favorite sibling, too. And, uh... We know you meant thirsty, but we're actually going 30 next week, so... We, we do not appreciate, uh, going 30 next week, you know? <laughs> we do not appreciate it. We, we wish we could just, like... 29 forever, we don't need to turn old... Uh, get old. It's... What's that? Mummified cat, Laniab. A mummified cat, that's... something? But yeah, it's unfortunate we, we turn 30. Water hose. Ah, oh, what's this? Ah, so we can easily go up here again. That's neat. Yeah. But appreciate you looking out for us. Is, is that how you say it in English? Looking uh, yeah. after us. No. Uh, f like, we use different prepositions in German than in English. It's another piece of broken plate. You don't say in, in German you're at the park. That would mean you're... In German that would mean you're not inside the park. You're, uh, like, at the border of the park, outside or so, like at the gate or so. That that would be at the park. But if you, uh, but if you mean you're inside the park, then you're in the park. You know, <laughs> so it's it's like we we use different prepositions to to say where stuff is or where are we right now in that situation or so. Um. So now we need to turn on the water so the bucket flows, right? Makes sense. Like, we wouldn't trust the bucket to float that way, but, like, one can try.
There we go. The broken plate. We got one of it, them. It's dark and burnt. It has a dark and burnt quality. But we need two pieces. We need two pieces. We showed that multi, that video. But there are, we, we also showed people like uh, videos of uh, where people laugh about the German accent because there are people who have like um, not only an accent, a German accent we mean, that we find <sighs> only cringe if the person is like really not even trying to speak English really. And there are people here who just barely give any shit. But then we think like, why are you... Well, they, they don't even try to learn. If you, if you have an accent, that's cool. Accents are awesome. But like, we, we know that because we know the people here and most are just like... They don't really give a shit if they speak any other language. It's it's like for them it's like like having to touch something they don't like. It that's that's how they that it feels f for us. Like they touch something that's disgusting and then they throw it away immediately and like blah, 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 blah. like that. So they don't really try anything. I find it sad that they uh, show really no interest in like learning any other language really. Except for like the people who already have some family background in other countries and languages, you know, like they often you, you notice they try much, much more Good like shot. like to to uh, they you notice that they try to speak a language more than any German here tries the, uh, huh? the housekeeper buried something in the flower patch beneath one of Dr. Gray's windows she was singing in some Creole language performing a peculiar bourgeois voodoo ritual certainly not an unfamiliar sight in the French Quarter but Voodoo had never felt this bitter to Emily. <sighs> Room number six key. Like, the question is now... Batiste's room. Okay, so... So the game shows you what is unlockable. Not what is unlocked, but what is unlockable. That is really helpful. Like, except for the stupid enemies, everything else in this game is really, really cool. Hello? <laughs> Wish we could just smash in the glass and get the shotgun. I think it will be very useful if we just have to shoot once and one of those stupid plant thingies will die. Hmm. 
she buried a cat. Ah, sorry. <sighs> the library is unlocked already. So the game seems to take photos of stuff, which probably means that it's like a hint or so. Hmm. Like we saw this stuff earlier in the game, uh, earlier in the game, in the prologue, sorry. Uh, What's that stain? Looks like some kind of... This must be the clock mentioned in the commonplace book. Sorry, we clicked too fast. This looks like the thing that held the talisman in the French Quarter, but it's broken and missing some pieces. Yeah, it's missing one more piece. Can we go here? We want to see which doors open. I need the key. Okay, that doesn't open and the room number six key is not the one we need. Okay. Got a clue? Emily's here. Emily's here. That was Grace, probably. The girl we saw, she she drew this. That. So the thing with uh, other languages, like we're learning Japanese using English and Duolingo, because like most of what you found. For Japanese, like, 99% is in, is in English. And, like, in German, we less use, uh, like, Japanese and English are more languages that use this and that. Where in German, it's... This, you use pretty rarely, we find. It, it sounds old-fashioned if you say this. This room. It sounds it sounds very old fashioned in German. These is a home. That's that's like you you would use more the cl the normal articles because it's at least to us and a lot of other people it sounds old fashioned. Fountain pen. Weird tales from the internet. No, <laughs> the unique magazine, the Devil Plant. Boxing gloves! Oh, cool! Wish we had something for boxing here. Fucking cable again. Um, wish we had something here for boxing. We already asked if we could, like, um, put up put up a sack here. If we could buy one. Don't know if we have the money even. Don't think so. They're probably expensive. Uh, and they said no. They said, like, no, you, you won't do that. It would be nice because we would like to have uh, a sack here that we could uh, like train every day. Maybe buy some protein stuff so because our muscles uh, will need some material to build from and that's why you need proteins. So there are is like all kinds of stuff that we could use like peas and beans are full of protein like that that's that's what they're mostly made of um ah. like let's go here first what a strange but beautiful room hmm. 
Hmm, are these zodiac signs? Yep. They are. Perosi's journal. You will need to remember how to get them out again. They are locked up for good reason. I am sure she is still able to whisper the answer in the ears of the wrong people. But not for long. I will see her burn soon enough. That black goat will be sacrificed to put an end to it all. Then it will all be over. No more Derseto, and sadly, no Astarte. Those good pirates of Ponchartrain. May you still sail the lake until you find the shores of Hali. Okay. We look at everything before we look at the clue again. The Astarte Artist Colony. I'm pretty sure they had a Mardi Gras crew called the Pirates of Pontchartrain when I was a child. The Heinrich. There was a German name uh, among them, Heinrich. There's some aggressive looking rot on these paintings. the thresholds to my intended destination without a focusing device my talisman now knows these roads and i have no need for the plates i can find my way to lafayette as easy as i find my own room i visited the grave of my father and seen the oven waiting for me thank you for opening these doors i now must summon my courage and go back to that hateful mound outside the oil rig I hope you'll be feeling better when I return, Jeremy. Okay, so... Yeah, and, and like, the thing is, uh... Have, where did we want to start our brain? Please, please don't... Oh yeah, the Thomas the Tank Engine mod we want to play for Resident Evil. Like the even the developer said, I have no idea why why I did this. Someone asked me and it just did it. <laughs> that was so cool. Um, simple investigation. <sighs> So we have like one, ten, and eleven Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Aquarius. Like the 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 names for the for the zodiac signs, we always have to look up because we. So we we try to get it right. Okay, so Piscus is fish in German. We just say what it, here what we call it. Call it fish. Aries is what we are, that is, uh, the sheep-like animal with the horns, you know? Um, don't know the English name for that, sorry. Uh, Taurus is, yeah, Taurus, uh, is pretty, that's obvious. Um, Gemini is twins. Call it, uh, the German word for twins. Cancer is, uh, crab. We call it crab. Um, the, the animal crab. Um, Leo, uh, yeah, Leo makes sense. That, that's lion. We call lion. Virgo is... Uh, think water man. It literal translation is water man. 
but they mean like a like some mermaid male mermaid creature for whatever reason think so uh libra is uh the scales scales uh scorpio yeah okay that that is pretty obvious and sagittarius is oh god uh sagittarius oh uh marksman basically marksman we think that's that would be the english translation called marksman like someone who shoots like arrows with a bow you know not specifically with a bow but like it could could be a gun but on the picture it's always a bow because it's pretty old-fashioned so and capricorn is god what was capricorn again uh there was one more capricorn oh no was aquarius the waterman and virgo was something else god we we didn't know like all of them fuck it's it's been a while Oops, controller died. G give it a sec. Okay. Um. So we got for Aquarius. So basically, waves that and the waves. Huh? Uh, okay. That's interesting. Okay, so we have very confusing numbers that say 1, 10, 11. And he has only a 1, but no 10 and no 11. How are we supposed to read this puzzle? This is obviously correct because we cannot interact with it anymore. That is an indic. We got some sound, like some jingle played. So the game wants to tell us you you, you interacted with it, and it's uh. Naked people, of course. Just women having fun. That's that's that we can give a thumbs up. We don't know what this is supposed to tell us. One, ten, eleven. Aquarius. Aquarius might be uh might be Waterman. Then what was Virgo? We forgot what some of them were, like Capricorn, apparently, we forgot, and Virgo. Sagittarius is uh, definitely the marksman. But what were Virgo and Capricorn? Shit. We know that Piscus is before Aries, that is, uh... Piscus is... Is it still? Oh, no. No, it might be might be already errors like today i think it starts today even and then it also not not sure like maybe, maybe we're wrong 
Um, ah, okay, maybe they, ah, maybe they, ah, okay, so. Malcolm McCarthy is one. Hmm. Now what does 10, 11 then mean? Is anything in their files? Anything in their files that is 10, 11? Uh, mother instructs on supervision by a proper gentleman to avoid further pervasion of grades adolescents. Modest wealth and status, a child who seems ordinary, spending most of her time with private teachers, family, and friends. The reason to pass away, leaving her mother the sole caregiver. Grace is trouble dealing with her father's death. She is willingly suppressing her feelings on the man and isn't probably acknowledging the trauma she suffered. Relatable. Grace needs nothing out of the ordinary. She simply needs parental guidance. Eventually, we can work on her feelings toward her father. Date of admission, December 16, 1928. Like, she is 11. But nobody here is 10. Or even has the number 10. So we are confused of... Huh? How, we, how we are supposed to solve this. Wait a second. So, another thing, what could be, maybe this is less complex than we think it is. Does it say when they were born? Maybe it's the day of admission. Date of admission, as you see. Like March 15th. That that is... No, that's also one... There is... There is just a one, but no ten and eleven. What could that refer to? <gasps> we are confusion. We know what we can do with this numbers, probably. There, there was that save down there where we had to like turn it in numbers. Maybe we need to do 1, 10, 11 or some shit. But, um... But, like, here is a lock with specifically the zodiac signs. We sometimes want to say zodiac because there is, like, a card archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh! that's called zodiac. Just a wordplay. Um. Uh, whoops. Hateful mound outside the oil rig. Maybe we need to go back to that save? It says it's solvable with what we have. But we do not know the solution. Because why is Aquarius 1, Sagittarius 11, and Scorpio 10. What does that mean? Oh, wait, it could mean the months 
of when they were admissioned. March is 3. December is 12. May is 5. November is 11. July is 10. Uh, yeah, brain. It's correct. Absolutely correct. It's 7. Jesus Christ. 7, 11, 5, 12... Okay, it doesn't mean the months of birth. Huh? Huh? We are so confused, like, it doesn't refer to anything here. Because there would need to be an October and a January. January. There is no January. Just November. We need an October and a Janu January, which we do not have. How is this supposed to help? So... Uh, uh, we're so confused. The numbers don't tell us anything. It's probably the patient's admission date, right? Because we don't see their birth date. After which you usually go for the zodiac, uh, see? Zodiac signs. <laughs> Play too much Yu-Gi-Oh, okay. <laughs> um, uh, already Yu-Gi-Oh brained. Um, We could add random numbers together to get 11. Like, you could add 5 and 6 to get 11. But, like, then you could also, like, add 7 and 4 and 2 and 9 and 3 and 8. Like, to get 11, you know? It's... it's That does not help. Good day to you, Thunder. How are you doing? Oh, God. Um... The game says it's solvable. There could be anything. Yeah, there we get the final piece that we... You're well happy to hear that. Um, we're okay. The pills from yesterday have some side effects, but we slept and that was absolutely necessary that we got a night of sleep again. But, um... Yeah, otherwise we're well. We don't understand what the game wants here. Is it? There's no 10 and 11. I, this is supposed to be a hint, but what kind of hint? Uh, 
we probably need to take notes on which of these names here are patients. Is Cassandra Beauregard here? No, she is not. Grace Saunders, probably not. She is a child. Malcolm McCarthy. No. Elisabetta Perosi? She is here. She is seven. Okay. Here, Elisabetta Perosi, she's seven. Ruth Talent? We're trying to solve a puzzle here uh, that uses the zodiac signs. Uh, what name did we. Shit. Uh, Ruth Talent, sorry. Uh, Ruth Talent. Nope. Okay. Ruth Talent. And that's the last name here. So, all the Elisabetta... Elisabetta Perosi is seven. She is on here. The rest isn't. Jane's just been in house working on. Oh, okay, that's good. If Jane wants to like talk to, uh, she. Fuck. People's pronouns like uh, so many <laughs> pronouns we have to remember, uh, and w and our memory is like incredibly bad um, for names already. So. Elisabetta Perosi. She is seven. So that is 12 then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, that can't be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 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 ten. Leo is seven. So it's that thing here, right? That is Leo. And then we have that arrow and the waves. But that is not a thing on here, as you can see. An arrow and the waves are not on here. How are you supposed to know this? We only have Leo. Because none of the... Wait a second. Cassandra Beauregard. STGS. Oh, we're so stupid. They mean this shit here. You have to turn it with a. Yeah, okay, yeah, William Argus, Franklin Mosek. William Argus, Franklin Mosek. William Argus. William Argus is two. Two, nine, Noah Keith, two, nine. Noah Keith, two, nine. Controller, please. Two, nine, four, which is. Oh, we could have looked up the numbers of the, but whatever. Uh, 294, was it right? So we have Piscus, which is 2, 
nine na na two nine four that that and that two nine two what was what was the second one again fuck two uh no, oh, it was not that. Two was... Two... <sighs> Lately, but, um... So we had that sign, right? Then we had this. And then we had that. No. Oh, we had this. No, it was definitely this. Was it? Huh? Was it not? Two, nine, four, two. Oh, no. Fuck. Two, nine, four. So that here was correct. Two, nine. It could be also 249, 294, but we think here it's from left to right, right? William Argus is two. Franklin Mosick is 9294. So this is this should be correct. No. Huh? Are we so stupid? We are that stupid, okay. <laughs> ah we are that stupid, okay? Never mind, it took us longer than it probably was supposed to. <laughs> ah! Okay. We, but we solved it, so... Oh. Hello. Oh, that's probably don't step on this. <gasps> oh, oh, okay, that does quite some damage. So, I think I've seen this. I don't understand what's happening. So now we need to move the pieces in a way that it rotate. That belongs obviously there. That is correct. That belongs there. That is probably here. 
After no, if, yeah, yeah. This this belongs here because there's there was blood on it. something in Jeremy's notebook about this. No, this is almost correct. We almost have it. It's. Probably just like those pieces here are. Yeah. Probably those two just. Th the the, the clock just stopped. Hmm. Oh, okay. Does it go higher than nine? No, it does not. So that doesn't help. Is that a sign? They show three. Four, three, four, six. Six, four. Ah, <laughs> it's showing me something. That's just the hallway outside Jeremy's room, isn't it? supposed to find something here <gasps> oh god uh we assume it's the door where there's light behind oh yeah very much But it could also have I been the game that the game is bugged because that did, for some reason does not really happen with other games. Might be that the something happened with the game and the graphics card or so and the drivers and Alia and that's why we got the freeze. Thankfully we noticed it immediately we think. So... Yeah, and we're always back whenever either stream elements uh, posted or... Oh yeah, we forgot to say something because sometimes it doesn't refresh for people and... Um, and if they then don't have autoplay enabled, then they don't see it. <clears throat> Can we open the chains with our bolt cutters? Is that a thing? It's rusty even, so it should be easier to cut. No. Then we're probably just simply not supposed to, to go there. Are we, what do we want to see everywhere if we can find anything?
What are those stinging, stinging... Oh, mosquitoes, right? That's what they're called in English. We always... Our brain has that saved as a Spanish word because we think it is Spanish. And probably English just... Like, uh... But what did English call it before they knew the Spanish word? That's, that would be interesting. Oil rig report. Day 1923. Monday. All okay. Ready for delivery. Maintenance. Oil pump must be serviced. Any tampering causes large spills unless properly forestalled. Tuesday. Shipment delayed but delivered. Maintenance. Service bridge close to broken. Wednesday. Prospectors reluctantly agreed to show the burial mound to Mr. Hotwood, a painter, who read about our finds in the papers. He means to return tomorrow and try to find a way inside. Thursday. Mr. Hotwood's efforts delayed. Workers seemed nervous about his presence. Hotwood promised not to return to the compound. Instead, he has taken up an offer by L'Officier, the riverboat captain, who means to pilot him to the site tomorrow morning. Hopefully, that's the end. Work can resume. Maintenance. Bridge from the oil tower to the bayou has collapsed. Sabotage suspected. This is the devil that guides us now. Huh. Something is Oh, we were muted, Echo. 
Thank you, Scandy. Shit. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Uh, what does jetty mean in this case? Like, we got a jetty key. Eh. Now drink some water. Oh, yeah. We need to get some water. Uh, just a second. Whoops. Uh, so, okay, we are back. We need to be a bit careful with our nails because we had longer fingernails with that gel on top, you know? Um, and, um, like pretty long ones. And now they're a bit bare, like, uh, but like they, they need to heal and they're a bit thin at some parts. Um, Need to be careful that we don't break them. Even though they're now super short and super well manicured. But they still need to heal better. Now drink some uh, water. Be water, my friends. Be water. That's another thing. What do we need the jetty key for? Wasn't that where we came from? Oh no. That's the jetty key, okay. I think we love swamps. It's... Everything here is so... boring. Like, you have just... You have just planes? And, and cities. That, that That's it. That's Germany, in a nutshell. Like, sure we have some mountains? Not, like, the biggest ones in the world, but, like... If you... They're called mountains here. Uh, but like, um, except for the, for the Alps, of course, but like, um, but like, uh, it's, it's really boring. We are full on pistol bullets. Okay. So we know there's more if we need it. Yeah. Pipe, that's good to know. Oh, then we get into the water, okay. Bridge lever, key item. Oh, here we go. As soon as we pick that up, enemies spawn. So here we have the Amazing Stories magazine. And here we have the Old Town Gazette. Here we have like something that is not readable because it's way too small. Wait a second! That is not fair! Why do you always get attacked twice in this game? 
We do not understand the reason for, like, A, they deal a <laughs> ton of damage, every enemy so far, B, they get to attack you twice before you get to do anything. I have an attention seeking. Oh, you could send her to us. It worked. Him, him, her. Did we say her? Oh yeah, because in German it's it. No, please don't. In German it's a uh, dekatze, so uh, female article. That's probably why we said her. Yeah. It, it's yeah then you say her bring the like it it just means it 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 yeah it's not yeah okay he's mommy's boy oh he's a mommy's boy yeah Ah, that's why we were. S <sighs> Yay, alcohol. Woo, do, 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 do. We hope that the HDR makes it look... Uh, oh god. Uh, okay, thankfully that's an enemy type that only moves around here, as you can see. They apparently avoid for whatever reason... Aww, right? Avoid planky areas like this one. We got a hatchet. <laughs> Ow. Can you move, please? Hey, we killed it. Ha, bitch. Get wrecked here by our hatchet. Oh, by the way, we recommend the hatchet movies. We think we like them. Uh, horror movies that co just called hatchet like the tool we have in our hand um, I think there are two or three movies not sure but there are more than at least two might be a third one even um, so and cool like horror movies you you will see people getting ripped apart just just as a warning for anyone who's a bit uh, um, Uh, not interested in that stuff. Jesus, sometimes you can't translate stuff because br brain is not knowing. Brain forgets the words. Brain is not braining, as as Luna often says. Squeamish. Yeah, we didn't want to be too negative, but like we, yeah. Oh look. We got stuck! <laughs> yeah, but for anyone, uh, people get ripped apart on the screen, like in, in half. So, just, just, if, but if you like horror stuff and you can. <gasps> oh god, uh, no. You will see, you will see that if, if you want to watch the movies. But we can recommend them if, if for, for people who like to see that stuff, it's. It's really cool. It's, they're really cool movies. Ah. We we 
killed it, bitch. We killed the cunt. Ha, take that, motherfucker. Oh, she got stuck again. Fuck, how can we unstuck her? Does the menu help? No. Does this help? Inventory? That does not help either. Ah, does that help? No, that does not unstuck her as well. Oh, God. God. That's, that's great to know that we... Talk great. We, cl we glitched into the... Fuck. And there's nothing we can pick up to correct our position. No. <laughs> How can we unstuck ourselves? <sighs> Fuck, we're now caught in this shit. Fuck. Oh, dear developers, please. We don't want to get stuck and on objects. Okay, we we can deal with the enemies now. We have now stuff to to beat them with. But please, we how how are we supposed to unstuck ourselves now? Fuck! Ah, uh, we didn't know what to do. How can we unstuck ourselves? doesn't seem like we can. Ah, okay, we got it! We are- Yay! We are master in unstocking. So if you ever get stuck... Uh-uh. If you ever get stuck, we can unstuck you. <laughs> I can break this. I just need something to hit it with. The, do the enemies grow back? It seems like it. So we got some distract, uh, distraction, distract tools, whatever. Oh, because we're already full on pistol bullets. Oh. Oh, fuck. Ah! Are you fucking kidding? Oh. We would like to have something to hit the enemies with, uh, which we do not have here. Anything like a shovel? Just steel pipes, but like big ones that we cannot swing. Run, please, woman. We got a shovel. We just wanted a weapon, so we have something to hit enemies with.
That is good. Did the game audio free? OBS, are you fucking? Oh, huh? what the fuck is this? Wait a second. Never mind. It, OBS was. So OBS has the audio mixer dock. Where you can see your audio devices and what sound they put out, yeah? And it was twice in the bottom row? One was moving because the various devices have sound. And one was frozen. We never had... Hell? OBS, what is wrong with you today? Just... Do you have a bad day? Do you need a hug? Like, not not being mean, but like, do you need a hug? We better run because we know now that the areas are a bit unsafe. If any moldy bitch is here, uh, come out now. We will give you an, uh, a lovely face massage with our shovel. Really nice face massage. Give those out for free. It's uh, like, like sure you can you can donate if you want. Like we have PayPal, Kofi, and everything, but but like you can get a, a shovel face massage for free. <laughs> huh? OBS woke up on the wrong side of the yeah probably. Like as as kids and teenagers, we regularly often fell out of the bed during the night. Often we don't woke up, uh, uh, didn't wake up, but sometimes we did, and we like fell out of the bed, and then, bam, and we were like, whoa, what the fuck, what's wrong? <laughs> it was so funny. It was so funny. At least we found it hilarious. Yeah, I hope the, hope the colors and everything looks better on your end too, that the HDR, because like your monitors probably don't have HDR, like most people think still don't have stuff like this. Um, but hopefully it still enhances the picture. Not sure. Because we see it in, in the way it is supposed to look like. Oh, oh. Oh wow, it took a whole weapon to to beat that asshole down. We get the gazing statuette. Statuette? Is that how it's pronounced? Full on pistol bullets. And that would have just been like three bullets inside that thing and the enemies have like is so much HP it is like but probably because you're really just supposed to use a one tool per enemy or something can we pick up the broom no that broom is not a weapon
if we had known that we find here nothing here besides like some collectible that we can like collect any other playthrough if we feel like it but now we don't have a you know again and um melee weapon thank you brain um melee weapon can we pick this up no this shovel is not a weapon for whatever reason don't ask us why we do not know so we were in there we were in there right that's that's where we came from so very likely we did not get any weapon here right nothing that can be used um that's not so great we would like to have at least some melee weapon Like anything would be nice. We, we like that the game gives us distraction tools, but we're not so much the distraction tool user in, in video games. We like to like either beat up stuff or just avoid it entirely. Like just sneak around stuff. Just like completely sneak around shit. Like distraction tools are often... The problem with distraction tools is... You have point A and point B. On the way of point A and point B, there is an enemy that you want to distract. You distract the enemy, you get to point B from point A, and now you no don't need to go back to point A. Diversion successful. Now you have an area like this where you run around, pick up stuff, now go there, go there, go there, and you have limited diversion items, then it becomes a problem if you run out of those. That's why we don't like diversion items so much, because if you have a clear one-way path and you don't look back, then yes, then it is, diversion is necessary. But if you run around, then basically you would need to do a cowboy, cowgirl thing, cow NB, whatever, and just like throw a rope, pin that enemy to some tree, or like, uh, like put a rope around some tree and then run around and do your stuff you know so it's diversion items are always we're not the biggest fans it's more like a if necessary if really necessary thing put any stuff in here they could like put like at least some melee weapon we have 20 frames right now that can't be this is not 20 frames it must be just that like the nvidia overlay died or some shit Does it come to us? It does not notice we're here. It did not notice that we're here. Okay. So thankfully... Loose items can be thrown to distract enemies.
We just wanted them to go away so we don't get ac uh, accidentally get attacked by some of them. We love those swampy areas. This, this, the, the area, the location for this game is well chosen for our taste. Well chosen. Like we know that most people don't like swamps because it would be like, but Shadow, do you know there, 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 there are alligators? Okay, yeah, we Dude, have, there has to be a way to get we have the animals here who can attack you too if you get too close and approach them. Rock them, like, you know. Not that we have seen one before, but like there was apparently a, where a few in the area we we lived before. So yeah, and like there are insects. Like you could probably get used to it if you live there. Oh, we picked up a pipe and we didn't even say something because we were so. You could say we like to hear our own voice, but that's not true. That would be wrong to say. But like, uh, by the way, again, to waking up on the wrong side of the bed, we had that before. That our head was, oh fuck, oh sorry, uh, oh, sorry, yeah, we were talking, we were talking, we are sorry, we were talking, we were talking, we were streamers, we were talking, we were talking, sorry game. Game was like, no, no time for talking, you, you, do stuff now. Sorry. We did not mean to. But we had that before that we were supposed to like that they that we woke up completely wrong. Like with our head at the bottom end and with our feet at, uh, on the pillow. We we're like, how did that happen? <laughs> that happened a bunch of times as as kids and teenagers like, huh? Why? Tough cloth. Okay. Just don't look down. But what do we use that piece of cloth for? Uh oh, ah. Uh, yeah, we didn't see that. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> we didn't see that before. The vegetation here, the, the natural environment, so good. This is what we like. Like, Germans always thought we hate nature. We definitely do not hate nature. It's just like the natural environment here is so not interesting and boring as fuck. That's why we... It's not like we hate nature, we just don't like the one here. It's too uninteresting. It's like looking at a white piece of paper and everyone's like, look, this is for totally cool. Look, white paper. You're like, um, yeah, that, that is white paper. Yeah. It's just not interesting. It's... Uh. uh um, and you cannot see us, can, can, okay, yeah, okay, it is, it, apparently it is blind. What the fuck? Um, okay, uh, you, you are large. 
if you want to kill those here, we can help you. We can help you find them. We can, we can, we can work together. If if you if you want, we can work together. If if they're your food or prey, whatever, it, it's like we, we can help you. It's it's. It, whenever we find one, we will scream big uh, monster thingy here or something. You know, if if. if it's no 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 worries we will, we will help you we hate those we we hate them if you if you want to kill them we will definitely help you it's the hateful mount jeremy mentioned in his book Ah, this is the hateful mound. Uh, we keep that book here so we can write stuff if we need to. Our little notebook. Got a cool paper one from someone. That, that would be the things we would have as special items if we were rich. Like, clothes can be whatever. Whatever just looks good, no matter the price. Like, most stuff is Jeremy, just normal. You dropped your... Oh, fuck. Oh, it's her again? No, oh, no, it's not her. Get off of me! What are you doing here? Trying to find my uncle. Jeremy is your uncle? Could you please? Thank you. And it's Miss Hartwood. You don't remember me? I remember you, Mr. Bois. I met your brother Batiste earlier. <sighs> I suppose he hadn't found Jeremy either then. We spread out to find him. Can I have this? I'm trying to get to Tarawea. Fine, believe the rest. I just want Jeremy to come looking. We have to leave before it comes inside. What? Where? Come quick. Oh, shit. Damn, my soul. <sighs> oh, I'm back at Dorsetto. Pellet knife. Ah, with a pellet knife, we can. That's what it's called? Interesting. With that, we can um, now get the stuff that was stuck under the door. Reflections on the power of the verb in certain texts. From... I uh, don't know how to pronounce the names. Is it French? Spanish? Reflections on the power of the verb in certain texts. By Juan Luis Jorge. Spanish. To act is in itself divine. Even the slightest movement of our hand is evidence of our soul in motion. Yet our free will is so easily overwhelmed by the dullness of everyday life. Our actions become rote and rigid in spite of luxury and comfort. True divinity is found in the choice of leaving the stage where we all perform. People who discover this freedom unexpectedly will be struck by the terror of this revelation and become paralyzed, or worse, turn to suicide. However, if you are able to weather that storm, you will discover that there is a divine path beyond that fear. There is a chance to dismount your destiny and make something new. Something that hasn't been planned for or predestined. There is difficulty in explaining this type of acting as it transcends our everyday choices. This isn't some banal decision choosing one career over the other, or even who I should marry. Leaving the stage, 
no matter how, isn't a matter of course correction. It's a rejection of the story that the Creator is telling. Okie dokie. We took the time again to get some water. Oops. Hello? Okay. We got the sitting room key. Maybe we like the game again. Maybe it was just an initial impression of like, we thought that would be the game. We thought the game would be... We didn't know uh, the sneaking feature. We didn't know a lot of things. Maybe because... Maybe it is the developers expect you to play the guy first and then you get like used to some stuff and then do play her. So, not sure, but like we think now the game is fine. It's what shot. But we had like we were really pissed in the beginning. It worked. <sighs> we we think the game is fine and we can I don't have everything I need. Need something for the telescope. Barlow Lens Instructions Clue. The Barlow Lens Instructions. To double the magnification of your telescope, simply fit this Barlow Lens to your instrument. Then operate the fine tuners to adjust the distance between your lenses. This is easily done while looking through your eyepiece. Simply search for a position where your picture is clear and appears flat. When correctly tuned, your telescope should present a clear picture with magnificent magnification. Oh, cool. Get another key, the cellar key. Now we have more locations to check out. A dog collar. We got an achievement, don't mind if I do. Fin finish a... Oh, What's because this? we finished a set. We have the what was it key and cellar key. Sitting room key and cellar key. Whatever the fuck this the Oh sorry. She she wanted to talk. The dream of the grave under the chenier suddenly vanished, and Emily found herself back at Deceto. Instead of Jeremy, she found Lottie who just like her brother Baptiste, reminded her of John, who died so bravely in the war. She pushed her painful memories out of her mind and returned to her investigation. She still needed to figure out what to do with the boiler. Okay. Now this will come in handy. I will get the shotgun. Cool. Awesome. We got a shotgun. Now shoot stuff. And kill it way quicker. But the ammo will probably be rare. This is not Resident Evil where you find shotgun ammo everywhere and you're like BAM! 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 And just shoot every head you see. It's blocked. We cannot use the key on it, right? Because it is blocked. Oh, uh, okay. Ah, no, we got stuck on some object on the floor. 
We got stuck on some object on the floor. <coughs> Game. That thing on the floor, apparently she got stuck again. We didn't know why. <coughs> Yeah, sorry. <sighs> it's blocked. Okay, apparently that's not where we go. Do something? Jesus Christ. Can we load again, please? We were pretty unprepared. We'd like to try again. Please, this time without the dumb surprise. Can, can we do it without stupid surprises? It's blocked. Okay, we got some shotgun shells. Do we recover health or so? No, apparently not. Um, That was fantastic. <clears throat> Controller died, we think. Hello? Hello? Controller? Thank you. Ah, we now have for the wine cellar and we can go to the upper floor to go into the Okay, that wasn't so bad. Disagree. Very much. It's wet shut. It worked. Okay, so this door, yeah, ah, oh, okay. So we unlocked it from the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Everything looks he cool here. The art style, like, wish buildings would 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 have would be built more more old school. Like with modern stuff, of course, we all want our fucking Wi-Fi and our internet. Just you know. In general, we want our uh, electricity, uh, our electronic stuff. We, but like, this is art. I like those. Like, we looked even into p uh, stuff for rich people uh, in the city we want to move to. And the only place that looked kind of elegant as like this place was a bu was a place for like three million bucks. <laughs> So, uh, I, you know, it's, <laughs> uh, but yeah, why is that stuff not built? Because capitalism, we are pretty much aware that is 
that was supposed to be the explanation, but yeah. Like, but like, it's it's so beautiful. Shit like capital capitalism should not stand in the way of that. Like, sure, who doesn't want to live like this? Sure, like, whatever tickles your fancy, but, like, everybody should, like, have, like, a place like this if, if they want to. This just looks so cool. It's just art. It's pure art, this. one of those fixation beds, right? Is it one of those? Yeah, it seems to be one of those. Yeah, and it's hanging there. kids how to play the piano how do you know about that just because grown-ups don't notice children doesn't mean we don't notice you yes I taught them some piano are you any good at it not good enough to play a broken one it fell from the attic brought half the ceiling down it was Jeremy's fault wasn't it nobody knows what happened but you're not wrong Just a okay. We got the medicine box key. Okay, now we have that key for that box we saw a minute ago for the second time. That's where we came from. I need the key. But it is technically okay, it can be open. This game is interesting. Maybe our first impression with the enemies was really wrong. But we thought like, we always think like that is what the game will be like for the rest of the time, you know? That if the enemies are already like a that, then holy hell. And uh... But like, they are bitches, they kill you easily, your character doesn't move as soon as you get hit and shit. So... Mm, and can't be like every time our controller. As you can see, we can move 90% of the time fine, so... 
can't be that like as soon as enemies appear the controller is like oh yeah enemies detected nope that can't be like there is something with the game we also got stuck There's on objects before settling rot hmm. on the common place of evil clue on the common place of evil there lies virtue and stark irreverence careless thoughts of luminous indifference but blame not the beast we once were which science so often wished to refer not the wicked full of sin it is you who stand and grin all our good intentions aside whereupon we build our pride sunless solitude follow not this corrupting light profits of confidence always crashes out of sight hear me for we all bear this mark thus we must remain alone in the dark ah alone in the dark Like, we don't like the combat, still. But on the other hand, we get enough shit to defend ourselves with. We were just like... We... So where was the room with the medicine box again? It was not this one. It was this one here. Now we get Dr. Jenkins lozenges. What's it? What is that? Vital vitamins. What what does lozenges mean? Is uh, do we even pronounce that correctly? Uh, one of several medicines prescribed to the author Cassandra Beauregard. This. A particular bottle contains tablets said to relieve sore throats and contain two vital vitamins. <sighs> Couldn't do anything else here, right? Okay, so, whoops. And what do we do with that is the question. Yeah, who has a sore throat? What do we need this for? The oh, sorry. She wants to talk again. The prick of the syringe hadn't hurt as much as the humiliation of being played by that child. Emily just couldn't make any sense of her behavior. Grace seemed amused, but not mocking. Was this just her being playful? As her feelings subsided, a second thought appeared. She wouldn't have injected her with something, would she? Mm, that child is sus. So, maybe? The child is sus. Uh, our sense for orientation, you know, usual thing. Hello? Oh, controller died. So that is the sitting room, apparently. Come on, Grace. I'm too tired for games. 
Well, even let's play with my jackknife. Oh, good evening. <laughs> you haven't seen a little girl by any chance, have you? I don't think so. Uh, you would have known if you did. The only kid crazy enough to be in this place. She's not in her room, then? <laughs> that would be a first. Always running around causing trouble. She's very hard to pin down, that one. You want to see her? I'm good, thank you. Well, I should be going then. <clears throat> Unless there's anything you need from me. I just want to find my uncle before anything happens to him. Oh, don't worry, miss. He'll show up. <laughs> he is much too lily-livered to kill himself. Why would he? <laughs> it's his greatest ambition, didn't you know? Take care now. Uh, we are here now. Hmm, there's something missing. A locked globe. Go in here and into her room. So this is Grace's room. Cute. The brownies... The brownies, their book. That's a cute kid's room for the time, probably. A small request. Don't you worry, Grace. Go play your game, bleat and bellow with the others. I won't be jealous. There will be more masquerades. However, I would love it if you would finish my mask for the feast. With love, Ruth. Oh, get that as a... We only have like 20 frames at the moment, like 19 frames. Is this 19 frames? Can't be 19 frames, can it? 19 frames? This must be the great Cassandra. I think I've seen this somewhere. Is it the same code again? It was uh this, right? This and then No, it was... It's not the same code, apparently. What's that? We need something else. Yeah. We put the medicine there. But how do we... Oh. Never mind. Miss Beauregard, I picked up your medicine at the post office today. As you understand, it needs to be administered by the orderlies for your safety. I have put the box in Lottie's room for now, and I'm sure she will find you as soon as possible. 
missed. Oh, missed. Sorry. Sorry. Ah, okay. Uh. Write down what? Oh, now the game shows like we have 60 frames. Okay, that's that's that makes more sense than the 19 frames we had before. That that makes much more sense. What are we supposed to write down? Two, five. What is this? A one? Two five one seven. So it's that, two. so it's yeah, of course. Now the pen just up would be the best. No, 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 you gotta fall off the table. You can find the pen now. Uh, oops, probably have a hard time getting it. Okay, so. We have 257 again, right? So we have this. Piscus. Two, three, five. Gemini again. Two, five, seven, and Leo, which is this thing. Hopefully, it's that actually and not something else. So, it's not that, it's this, then that, and then this again. Ding 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 ding! <coughs> oh god. A piece of a larger decorative plate. It has. Ah. How many of those have we now? Only one? So the one was like crossed out the number on the one bottle because it was irrelevant. But we assume it was like a seven or a one. See now, now, uh, if if we could show you, see, in, in the uh, uh, top right corner, you can see that Nvidia says we have 19 frames. That cannot be the case. It's like we, we are very sure this is more than 19 frames. Everything is much too fluid for that. Uh, wine cellar. How do we get there? Um, the yep, you wanted. The medicine bottles had stains of rot on the labels, suggesting some greater shape. They just needed to be put in the right order. But for what purpose? Mm, what purpose? 
So, okay, so we need to go to the wine cellar now. Oh, sorry, we, we're so bad with maps. <sighs> so we are down here. Mr. Waits, I saw a piece of the plate that Liza broke. I think she's been hiding them. She's not very good at it. She just chucked it into the little room with all the tools behind the boiler. I left it there. I didn't want to embarrass her by picking it up while she was looking. We went upstairs instead and played backgammon. I let her win. Because she's so unhappy. The piece looked like the one on display in Cassandra's room. You know about that one already, right? Or is your eyesight really that fuzzy? I hope you don't feel bad about your glasses. You only look stupid when you squint. Maybe if you had more eyes, you would see these things. I wish you had all the eyes you needed. Your best and favorite guest, Grace. <laughs> uh, yeah, but we played backgammon, uh, backgammon before. What's that stain? It looks like some kind of rot. It's another one of those plates for the talisman. It's also broken and missing some pieces. What, what is she talking about? What rot stains? Forsaken crucifix. Now, now we have one of the pieces we need against Freddy Krueger. Krueger, sorry. the The name is uh, the name is German, by the way, but probably most Americans know that. Um, Krueger is. Uh, it's written differently, but like. We have three letters that were written like that in the past, and probably it got back put back into that switch and like a fuse box. If we go here, we very likely get zapped. You could just grab the cable and like. Get it out of the water like here at this end it should be you should be able to grab it without hurting yourself or so but you know nope ah a uh, we, we we are stupid. Never mind. I guess this works too. The valve handle.
Okay, Beatrice. And we get the pipe. this hello <gasps> what the hell is that barnacles were what? growing on him there was a dead body in here did i just imagine that Was that Hartman? Jeremy Hartman? Probably German ancestors or like Austrian, whatever, in, in that language area because that's another German name. Okay, so this should be easy. Can we? No, that doesn't seem to be right. Oh, okay. So, so then that belongs here. Because that piece cannot be moved. Makes more sense to have that there. Too stupid to put this picture together for some reason. So that was correct. Oops. But then the huh? No, it was not. Is it ups it's upside? Oh, that is why we were wrong. Because the picture is upside down. Fuck. <sighs> we were so confused right now. Sorry, but like... Eh. This picture is highly confusing. Da 
that makes the most sense. That is a that is some weird picture. Some weird ass picture. What is the objective now? <laughs> the body of Deceto's clerk, transformed into some eye-clad abomination before he suddenly disappeared. Surely it was all in her head. A horrible vision planted by the dark man. Six, four, three. We don't see any numbers. Uh, we don't know the numbers for this one. Oh, oh, ah, uh, dumb, 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 dumb. Martin Harris, dumb. Okay, um, five, seven. Hey, V. Good day to you. Lovely to see you. I'll be lurking today, but hope you have a nice time. Oh, you too. And thank you for the lurk. Five, seven, nine. Um. Nine, five, seven, nine. The talisman is showing another move. Something is open. Uh, somewhere where the wine bottles were. Jeremy's dreams. Well, thank you for the like and hope you have a fantastic day. Uh, ba 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 ba, something buried. That was ammo, but maybe not. Hello? Okay. Microphone is exactly where it's supposed to be. Oops. We 
keep in mind the dash that we have. since I visited the family tomb. I hope it's in a better state than the real world. Algernon Lyle Hardwood, industrialist and diviner. Born May 12th, 1828. Died February 27th, 1900. Edmis... That is Latin. We don't speak Latin. Yeah, we noticed the plate instantly. It looks different, so the blessing. A rustic plate adorned with lost allegory. What's this? We will probably find out in a moment. We just want to see what's here besides uh Spookiness. We got some shotgun shells. Oh god. Oh, never mind. We, th we thought that was like a second medal now. We were like, huh? That That's weird. Okay. Here we go. Ah. We get the sledgehammer. Now we can bonk some bitches. One of those we encountered. Oh god, um... How about no? Okay, you want to be fought? Bitch! Get bonked! This is the chapel in Jeremy's book. It looks like I need more medallions to open it. I'm not sure I have everything I need. You just said that, but okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So we go back where we encountered the spooky bitch. Where did spooky bitch come from? Because we want to see if we miss some item just because spooky bitch uh, 
popped out of nowhere. Okay, down is the shotgun. Just so if, if this thing here breaks and we don't find an alternative weapon, we at least know down and we have the shotgun and just blast the spooky bitches. Uh, brain brains out so we have like some some button to use the pistol is it's a weapon um but it's not good not not at all hey come here Oh, wow, wow! Of course, lunge attacks. Our fucking favorite. Lunge attacks. What? Last time it got killed by that weapon. Sir? Uh, why were you resistant to that weapon now? Okay, now it worked, but before it was like, nah. Okay. Do, do we want to know the reason behind? No. Not interested. Oh, there's pistol bullets. It's not much, but it's honest work. No, not that meme. Um, but it, it's not much, but like it should at least. That's not what we meant to do, but whatever. Oh, okay. What? Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Wait, 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 wait. She doesn't move. What? Why is the weapon not reload? Can you please die? Sir. There was three shotgun shells. Should be more than enough for one of you assholes. Bitches. Holy hell. Yeah, diversion items, but the problem with diversion items is like they, th those assholes, as soon as they spawn. They know where you are, and they track you down. So, what is the diversion item for in that case? It was good for those moles, because you could throw it anywhere, they go away, and then you can just, like, sneak past. You know? 
You make noise, they, they go there, and then you can sneak past. But those bitches spawn, they know where you are, they track you down, and they kill you quickly. So, you have no, no chance of getting away from them. What is a diversion item then for? Diversion is if you, if you have a chance, if you are... First, you are undetected. Enemy doesn't know where you are. Enemy there, but doesn't know where you are. You throw something, they are like, oh, that was a noise. They go there, and then you can sneak past. That's a diversion. But if something spawns and just immediately tr knows where you are, tracks you down, and kills you, always, it's... Uh, th that's what we call... Bullshit. Like, what, what is a diversion item then for? If they were at least blind, and if you move slow, and then you, then you're uh, like almost silent, and they don't hear you, and then you can throw stuff, and they go away, they follow the noise, but they seem to know where we are at all times. Th those those sacks there, they know plant sacks. They just know where we are. They spawn, bam, and they know it. They're like, bitch, you don't get away. So... Do they see the flashlight? We do not know. Like, now it worked. Maybe they see the flashlight because we had blind enemies before, too. And the problem is the diversion items you have to grab like this, hold RT, and then move. You cannot just grab them, keep them in your inventory, and throw them later. If you try to do that, your character instantly throws that shit. Could use his health. Get bonked by a shovel. If we could, we would shovel it up your ass.
We hear noises we don't like. So we came from there, right? So we remember that. Bugs. Yeah, Bug is a cool type in Pokemon. Under underappreciated. Definitely underappreciated. In insects in general, humans just find them ugly because they I think they look so different from us. We get it. Like, they have more than two legs. Oh, whoops. Whoa! <gasps> we get it. Like, they have, like, more than four limbs often. Uh, they have, like, some... some... thingies that they can feel with, you know? Like, roaches. Um, or centipedes, and they basically have their bones outside, like we have the flashy shit outside, and the, the bones inside, and they have the bones outside as basically their skin, and we, and the flashy shit inside. So yeah, it, it's, yeah, they're quite different from us, but they're not ugly. That's just a different... God, we thought that some asshole was approaching us. Thankfully, <laughs> thankfully that was not the case. You love ins- Yeah, roaches not so much. We can uh, we can understand. We never had roaches. Like that's not common for German apartments. But we hear that in the U.S. that whenever someone has a shitty a uh, like shitty place to live, it often has roaches. In Germany, it's more mold. We have like the the most common shit that we, you get here if you get a shitty apartment. It's mold. Um. Which is still, like, not good for your health. Um, roaches are probably better for your health. Uh, to, to keep around. Even, even though they're, like, you know. <laughs> so, it's, uh, yeah. But, like, insects, we, we love bugs and such. They're so underappreciated. Like, too, way too under, uh, way underappreciated. Both here, mold and roaches. As long as you can't get out, we're happy. Another sledgehammer! Mizzy, this game is full of sledgehammers, shovels, and other tools that you use probably. And we uh and we can bonk those bitches here. Good day to you, how are you doing? Lovely to see you as always. If there's so much health around here... Controller died, just a second. Yeah, okay, we can move again. They're cute, right? Like, most insects are really cute. And controller died again. Can you stop with that shit? Because we would like to play the game. And it died again. And the monitors died. Do we get... Yep, and the stream froze again. It seems to be the controllers. Or like some connectivity issue, whatever. Ugh. Game party real quick. We will have no avata avatar for the rest, so we will be invisible. Just imagine we're a ghost and we're talking to you. Or anything that you can't see but, like, could be friendly. Whatever comforts you. Right now, we, we just... We're tired, we just want to end the stream, and we're kind of pissed that... Hardware just poops uh, into... Oh, uh, okay. Okay, come here. Okay, okay, uh... 
door. Uh, okay. Can you please run? Woman, that thing tries to kill you. Not no. Switch to the fucking. Oh, thankfully that piece of shit got stuck. Oh, asshole. So did we get out of here? Got almost all of our bullets back. Something in here. Yeah, sorry for the many interruptions today. We don't know what it is, but we installed a new graphics driver yesterday or something, at least this week. And um, I think it was yesterday after the stream. And I think so. And. Also, this is a new game, so it might cause that too. Because for Resident Evil 2 Remake, we didn't have it. But it could also be like some random bullshit issue that our PC has. So as soon as we get a quick save, as we see the game saving, we will end it for today. Okay, so that was a quick save. Goodbye, YouTube. See you next episode.